Matthew Broderick Though he's won two Tony Awards and appeared in a number of well-known films, few people are aware of the tragic events that occurred in Broderick's life in August of 1987. Broderick's rented automobile went into the wrong lane around 80 miles west of Belfast for an unknown cause, ramming another vehicle and killing both people inside while on holiday in Ireland with his then-secret girlfriend Jennifer Grey. Broderick and Gray were brought to the hospital with multiple significant injuries, including lacerations and fractured bones, and Broderick was eventually charged with careless driving and fined $175. Phil Spector Spector was a titan in the industry, ranked as one of Rolling Stone's greatest artists of all time and recognized for his abilities as a producer, composer, and music pioneer which is why many people were surprised when a lady was found dead in Spectre's California house in 2003. Although he was quoted as saying he thought he had killed actress Lana Clarkson, he later claimed her death was an accident because she had kissed the gun. Regardless, the eccentric celebrity was tried twice in relation to Clarkson's death and was eventually convicted of second-degree murder in 2009. Don King King is one of the most well-known boxing promoters of all time, thanks to his wild hair and colorful demeanor. Unfortunately, he was judged responsible for the murders of at least two persons in court, in addition to claimed organized crime links and several litigation proceedings against him. The first was Hillary Brown, who was killed in a justified murder by King in 1954 after attempting to steal money from one of his gambling operations. Sam Garrett, a former employee of King who owed him money, was beaten to death 13 years later, and King was found guilty. He was sentenced to four years in prison for non-negligent manslaughter, but was later pardoned. Robert Blake Blake was known for his film and television appearances, including, perhaps ironically, his portrayal of a real-life killer in the 1967 film In Cold Blood. Blake married Bonnie Lee Backley in 1999, a lady known for defrauding elderly men. She was found dead in a car two years later, the victim of a gunshot to the head. Blake was caught and accused the next year, but he was acquitted in the criminal case despite the fact that multiple witnesses allege he tried to recruit them to kill her. Blake, on the other hand, was found accountable for his wife's wrongful death in a civil suit and was sentenced to pay $30 million. Laura Bush Laura Welch was 17 years old when her car struck and killed dear friend and schoolmate, Michael Dutton Douglas, long before she met George Walker Bush in 1977 and went on to become the First Lady of the United States for two terms. Welch, as she was named at the time, drove past a stop sign and collided with Douglas's car in November 1963, two days after her 17th birthday killing him and sustaining minor injuries herself. Despite the fact that she was not prosecuted with any wrongdoing in the accident, Bush was haunted by the tragedy for years. Chris Benoit This Canadian wrestler was a two-time world champion and was regarded as one of the finest professional wrestlers of all time at the height of his career. However, with highs come lows, and at possibly his lowest point, Police were called to his home owing to worries about his well-being, only to discover his body, as well as the bodies of his wife and seven-year-old kid. Although brain injury, emotional instability, testosterone therapy, and drug misuse have all been suggested as possible factors in Benoit's double murder-suicide, no one knows for sure. Ted Kennedy Kennedy's beloved image was tainted by the events of July 18. 1969. He was a distinguished member of the United States Senate, a strong speaker, and a member of one of America's most well-known political dynasties. The automobile they were in went off a bridge and into the water below, after leaving a party he'd been throwing on Chappaquiddick Island with 28-year-old Mary Jo Kopechny. Despite the fact that Kennedy fled the overturned car and swam to shore, Kopechny did not. He later pleaded guilty to leaving the scene of an accident, and an inquest revealed that careless driving may have had a role in Kennedy's death. Sid Vicious 
Vicious was well known for his turbulent lifestyle and musical career with the Sex Pistols, as well as his relationship with the equally rebellious Nancy Spungen. Vicious awoke to discover Nancy dead in the bathtub of their hotel in New York's Chelsea Hotel on October 12, 1978, after a stormy love affair marked by physical, emotional, and drug abuse. Vicious was released on bond after many suicide attempts and died less than a year later, so it's unclear whether her death was an accident, an unintentional outcome of a brawl, or a purposeful murder. Oscar Pistorius This South African runner first made headlines as a Paralympian who won a gold medal and competed in the Olympics despite having no legs. In February 2013, however, the headlines bearing his name were less than flattering. He shot and killed his girlfriend Reba Steenkamp at his house in South Africa on February 14, saying that she was an intruder. Despite the fact that Pistorius was found not guilty of the murder, he was found guilty of culpable homicide, which could result in a five-year jail sentence and the end of his career. O.J. Simpson this former football player and successful actor was at the center of what was arguably the most contentious and well-publicized trial of the 20th century. All clues pointed to Simpson, Brown's ex-husband, when Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman were found stabbed to death in June 1994. Despite the fact that a mountain of evidence was produced in the lengthy court case, OJ's legal team ultimately prevailed when a not guilty decision was reached. All we know is that OJ is innocent. In a civil trial, he was later found guilty for the deaths and sentenced to pay $33.5 million in damages. Is there any topic you want us to tackle in our next videos? Please share it with us in the comment section below. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel.